one god. The uh, pfft. No, don't like that. The Sikh holy book, the Guru Granth Sahib's opening sentence is just two words. Ik Ankar. Oh wait, that thing was not an om on his hand. It was this thing. Right? I was wrong. It looked like an om, but it wasn't an om. It was this sign on his hand. And means ik what is it? This only one how do you say it again? Opening sentence ik, is just ik onkar. Ik onkar. Two words. Ik onkar. There is only one God. La ilaha illallah. Sounds very much like Islam. There is no God but Allah. There's only one God, which is and his name is Allah. So this is basically that La ilaha illallah version of Islam. So not very original, see, because like, yeah, this is pretty same. Uh, Amit is saying, yes, it's kind of similar. Yeah. Nanak made sure it was clear that the focus was on one. Ik doesn't just mean... Yeah, one. Like the concept of Tawheed in Islam, the oneness of God. This most important principle in Islam is the oneness of God. So this being their first core belief is very Islamic. One creator Christ is so original. <laughs> yeah. One. It is literally the numeral one. One God is by far. Oh the wait, the one is written as number. This is a number. Like, oh wow. Well, okay. Hold on. Uh, make sure it was clear that the focus was on one. Ik doesn't just mean one. It is. Focus was on one. Ik doesn't just mean one. It is literally the numeral one. Mm. One. Okay. So again. Tawheed is the most important thing in Islam, in the Islamic core of belief. So, yeah, you guys want to pretend like this is so important. Like, unlike the other religions, our main focus is the oneness of God. <laughs> Too late, 1400 years late. Well, no, actually, they are 500 years old. So, uh, 900 years late. God is by far the most important belief in Sikhism. Yeah. This may not be the kind of same as Islam. One God is by far the most important belief in Sikhism. So is in Islam. God you're used to though. Sikhs believe in oh, Okay, so here's the difference. This is a different kind of God. Let's see. What's let's see what's the difference between this God and Allah? And of God you're used to though. Sikhs believe in a formless, genderless, universal God beyond What are you? yes. What do you mean? A God that we're not used to. This is exactly the God that we're used to. Allah is formless, genderless, universal God. Yeah. The, what do you mean? You're, you, it says this may not be the kind of God you're used to. What are you talking about? This is exactly the kind of God that we're used to. In Sikhism, this may not be the kind of God you're used to, though. Sikhs believe in a formless, genderless, universal God. Beyond what? description. This God Beyond description? You, that's what the, that's the God that we all grew up with. What are you talking about a God that we're not used to? As Muslims, that's exactly the God that we grew up with. God is all of reality and is... Oh, this God is all of reality. It is within everything. Yeah! Allah! This is, this is Allah! You're describing Allah! Within ev everything. They believe no idol or image could ever represent this being. So, Islam! No idol or no image could ever represent Allah. Exactly, very much like Islam. They use the sacred symbol of Ik Ankar to represent it instead. Many Sikhs refer to this one god by the name Guru, Wondrous Lord. <sighs> Wondrous Lord. Wait, so this god itself is a guru? Wait, so now we have 12 gurus. Do we, do we have 12 gurus now? So Ik... To represent us, uh, many Sikhs refer to this one God by the name Wayguru. Wai by the name Wayguru, Wondrous Lord. Wondrous, Go Wondrous Lord. Right, that's kind of epic, guys. Like that, that needs to be a movie. Guru Nanak and his followers constantly emphasized that this one could be understood in many different ways. Okay, so this is the kind of like BS. So here's the thing. I like inclusivity and accepting of people, but a lot of people confuse that with accept, being accepting and inclusive of ideas. And I think this is what Sikhism is trying to pretend to do. Oh, 
we're so accepting. We accept everybody. We accept every religion. Every religion is a pathway to God. And people are like, oh, look at, look at Sikhism, so loving. They say like, oh, Islam and Christianity and Hinduism and Buddhism and Judaism. They're all just like, we don't have a monopoly over the truth. They're all the truth. They're all the truth. People are like, oh, wow, so loving, so tolerant, accepting of all kind of BS. That's, that is not, that's not accepting or tolerant, that's gullibility. Like, it's not like, oh, wow, you guys are so tolerant because you accept everything, every, every BS that you hear, every nonsense that you hear, you're like, yeah, that's true as well. That's what you think accepting means? Again, mo most of the planet, and this is not Sikhs, most of the planet think that that is lovely, that is accepting. For you to be like, Oh yeah, every religion is right in some way. And they think that's their version that's their understanding of love and compassion and tolerance of just hearing nonsense and being like you could be right too. Oh, you you're right. Actually no, you are right. And this other country completely contradictory idea to everything you believe, they're also right. Oh wow, so tolerant of me for telling everybody with their crappy ideas that they're right. Again, the, the tolerance and acceptance that we teach, we want to te we should think we should teach, is that you're wrong. You're so wrong. Every, like you have no idea how wrong you are. But it's okay. We can still be friends. <laughs> All right. That is that is accept. That is tolerance. Okay. Not to be like, oh no, you're right. Your your moronic ideas, they're so true. That is like, no, you're treating people like children. That is not tolerance. You, 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 tolerance means like, even though you're, be, you're a moron, <laughs> even though you're being a moron right now with your crappy ideas, we can still be friends. That is tolerance. Oh, so read Soha's comment. Hold on. Where's Soha's comment? 12, no, are you serious, Soha? 12 gurus and 12 disciples? No. No, copy pasta, come on, that is ridiculous. It, 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 that, is that obvious of copy, copying other religions? Hmm. Bully shit. I could say, yeah, I, I'm saying BS because, again, I don't want to say SHIT because YouTube would probably do doesn't like that. So I'm trying. Uh, guys, see, I can't. I want to highlight the emoticons on StreamYard. The em no, not the, the um, emotes that Soha made, that Fatima made, but I can't because StreamYard doesn't highlight them. Uh, look, see, if I do analyze gay, this is what it shows. But I get, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, the recluse is saying coincidence. I think not. Uh, Katie is saying. The Guru Ga Grand Shahib, page 13, calls the sun and the moon as lamps, uh, which means sources of light, so, it's, so it is proved to have no scientific knowledge. Oh, yeah, before any Sikhs claim science. Yeah, 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 okay, so they think, like, the moon is a source of light like the sun. Wow, really? This at the time that, o that the world knew that the moon is not the source of the light? Yeah, I mean, again... They should have known moon is not a source of light. Like people back then knew this. So they're not just behind our time. They were behind their own time. Yeah, I already highlighted that. Um, oh, KJ is saying calling Buddhism a pathway to God is still an insult to Buddhism since Buddhists consider God to be within samsara we'll get to buddhism we'll do uh, we'll do a buddhism live stream at some point no religion had a monopoly on the truth the no religion had a monopoly on the truth no religion ha even has the truth let alone have monopoly over the truth you guys are like oh you are all right again this is how dumb this is like oh so look at sikhism they're like you're all right no they're all wrong they're all wrong you guys got it completely the opposite what you're all wrong, not all correct. Acts one could be known as Vishnu, Allah, the Tao, uh. Yahweh, the algorithm, or any Wait, so you guys managed to offend all of them basically. 
You're telling them one could be known as Vishnu. Vishnu is Allah. Allah. Okay, Vishnu as Allah is the same thing. I think this is very insulting to both the Hindus and the Muslims. <laughs> okay, so imagine like, hey guys, look how loving, look we love you, we accept you. Your Allah and Vishnu are the same thing. Yeah, way to piss off the Muslims and Hindus at the same time. I'm, I'm, trust me, the, the Muslims do not want their Allah to be associated with Vishnu in any way, and the Hindus would not want their Vishnu to be associated with Allah in any way. Okay, so. Yeah, this is how you've managed to piss off everyone except of the <laughs> algorithm. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree with you. They all they are all wrong. Yeah, exactly. The algorithm. <laughs> Wait, I don't get the reference. The toe. Somebody yeah. tell me the, the reference. That way, the algorithm. This is a Minecraft reference. Hmm. Uh, is that our Lord and Savior the algorithm? You guys are laughing. Everybody's getting the joke. I'm not getting the joke. The only is this like the YouTube algorithm? Because that is our God here. Oh yeah. Wait, that's the our that's our God here as well. Is that the same thing he's referring to? Like the YouTube algorithm? Hehe, <laughs> this guy. The algorithm is the only God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, that's the religion we believe in. Wait, is he making the same joke that we're making here all the time on this channel? The algorithm and the YouTube guy. Yes! Oh my god! Yeah, that is the religion that we... That's the god... That's the, the only gods we fear is the YouTube gods. So he's referring to that same thing. Okay, wow, I didn't get the joke, even though that's exactly the religion that we have here at the Atheist Republic. Hey, guys, guys, please. The, the only... The only... Sacri the only... The only sacrifice the youtube gods wants is your likes and subscribes okay that satisfies them they don't want blood they don't want animal sacrifice or human sacrifice all they want is likes and subscribes okay that's what the youtube algorithm wants and we pay it gladly at the altar of the algorithm okay guys pay up feed the youtube algorithm feed the gods give them the likes do it do it now okay that's what i'm gonna say now feed the, the youtube gods with your likes make them happy and they will bless us with more views any other name or belief there was no need to fight over whose god was the true god as they were all the same one yeah, they will all be united against you if you say that, okay? Yeah, great job. You managed to unite them by telling, you know, yeah, this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. Like, hey, guys, hold hands and sing Kumbaya. All your religions are the same God. No, no, okay? The only way you could unite them that way is unite them in hating you. The same one. Recognize all mankind, whether Muslim or Hindu, as one. The same God is the creator and nourisher. This is like a child's w uh, understanding. Like people are like, why can't we just hold hands and get along and stop hating each other? You're like, yeah, great job. Like, you're like why can't we just do that? I don't know. Why haven't we have been able to do that for the past 10,000 years? Like people think like, oh, I, I have it. I have the solution. I have the solution to all the world's hatred and wars and people attacking each other. Oh yeah, what's the solution? What? Why can't we just all love each other and stop hating each other? Like, <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize right here, guys. You can figure it out. Why can't we just stop? Huh? Like, great job, okay? What do you have? What's next to solve? Are you gonna, can you solve world hunger? Huh? Can you solve, solve now your homelessness? Why can't we just, like, give everybody home and give everybody just food, you know? Like, like, why can't we just do that? Yeah, why can't we? That's, you, that's the question, okay? That's not an answer, <laughs> okay? Like, you can't just be like, why can't, you can't just solve world's problem by saying like, hey, wh what if we just, why if we just think like this? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You can't just, that's not gonna solve anything, okay? You have to actually do, actually manage to convince people. You can't just be like, hey, what if we try this? You see, like, Sikhism came and it's been 500 years. We don't have world peace right now, so you guys failed. Failed! ...of all. Recognize no distinctions among them. The temple and the mosque are the same, so are Hindu worship and Muslim prayer. Human... The... Te the... Oh, hold on. 
The temple and the mosque are the same. And same and so are the Hindu worship and Muslim prayer. You, you guys didn't manage to bring people together. You just add another religion. That's what you did. You didn't convince the Hindus and the Muslims that are the same. You just, what you did is like, now we have the Hindus and the Muslims and the Sikhs. So congratulations. Instead of making everybody one, you just made a new religion and now we're more divided. So, yeah. You're part of the problem. Human beings are all one, Guru Gobind Singh. The lack of a gender for this one god means that there is no difference between men and women in Sikhism. Sikhism... Um, there's a lot of differences between men and women. So I don't know what you're talking about. No difference between men and women in Sikhism. Sikhism was among the first major world religions to make the radical suggestion that... Oh, you mean the rights. Maybe, just maybe, women are people too. Women oh, may <laughs> maybe. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at that graph. Oh, look at this graph. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Hold on. First major world religions to make the radical suggestion that maybe, just maybe, women are people too. <laughs> women in Sikhism have fought battles, led religion. Okay, that's badass. Just services and. Okay, okay. Muslims say that as well. When Muhammad was in war, women at, were, were at the front line fighting as well. So, yeah. Again, some, nothing new here. Muslims say that about their women as well. Uh, Akash is saying, many believe Sikhism in, is Indian version of Islam. Sikhism stopped conversion of Hindus to Islam in northern India in 5th century. Oh, basically they were like, oh, you hate cat. So this is how it went, I think, in my mind. Okay, tell me if this is right. You hate casteism? You hate the caste system? You don't have to be a Muslim. Let me give you something Indian that doesn't have the caste system. So is that how it went? Right? Is that how it went? And even acted as some of the longest reigning leaders of the entire community. Sikhism isn't based on doing things to get into some heaven or hell. Hell is just life on earth, which your soul is constantly reborn into after. Okay, so oh, so reincarnation. So see again, they got a whole bunch of things from Islam. They're getting some things from Hinduism. Do you die? Which is a uh, pretty dark. You see, Sikhs believe in reincarnation and karma, similar to Buddhists, Hindus, and Jains. Mm. But Sikhs believe that karma is modified by God, as in karma might decide what life you're born into, but God makes sure that anyone can become a good person in their lifetime if they try. The God. So see, they got their gods from Islam, and they got the karma from Hinduism, and they're like, okay, we have karma, but God is the manager of karma. In, in Hinduism, there was like no, yeah. The goal of sick life is to break free from the cycle of rebirth yeah. by merging your soul back into God's soul. What God's soul. What was that ca thing called in Hinduism? Um, this energy thing. Brahman, 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 Brahm something. This whole universal energy thing. They're just rebranding it. The visuals are even the same. They're just rebranding that stuff, that universal energy or whatever vibration stuff. They're just calling it God's soul. Come on, guys. One does this by realizing that you are already a part of God. You just need to let go of your ego. When your soul remembers. Oh my God, come on. E yeah, you have to let go of your ego and you're going to become one with and the universe, or now they're calling it God's souls. You got that from Buddhism. Just back into gods, this is called Mukti, which is similar to Hinduism's yeah. Moksha. And yeah, Mukti, Moksha, they even sound the same. God damn it. Liberation. When you remerge, your soul is released from the cycle of rebirth moksha. and death and becomes infinite, timeless, and blissful. This is the closest thing six have to heaven. Come on, if you're sick, then you're a moron. Because how, how could the truth be? How could the truth to the universe be? Some stuff that Islam said and some stuff that Hinduism said mixed together. Like, first of all, you're contradicting yourself. You're saying they're all true. And then like, okay, what is true? And they're like, oh, these specific things from Islam and these specific things from Hinduism. Why would God, you know, send the prophet to Arabia and give us like half the truth there and some things that are wrong? And then this very ancient religion that is way older than Islam 
got some other things that are specifically right that Muhammad got wrong. Muhammad didn't believe in reincarnation. Wait, you said all these... How could all these religions be right and reincarnation be true? Because I'm pretty sure Islam is against reincarnation. So is it right and wrong at the same time? So is there a heaven or is there not a heaven? They're like, oh, there is no hell. Hell is here in, in, in this world. Okay? There is no afterlife. Well, Islam, Christianity, and Christianity teach you that there is an afterlife. And you just earlier said that these are all, all these religions are true. So are they true or are they not true? Do they have the truth or do you have the truth? If you have the truth, how is it possible that the one true religion is a religion that got some of its stuff from Islam and some of it from Hinduism? Is it just happens to be a coincidence that the guy that founded it was influenced by two different pe group of people that didn't agree and he just took some ideas from all... How could you not see that this is just a guy that just picked... Just one time, like, I'm going to pick this from here, I'm going to pick this from here, I'm going to make my religion. You, and you ends up being like, oh, that is actually ends up being the truth to reality and everything. Come on, guys. You can see that this is not true. How could you be, how could you not see that this is, cannot be reality? This is obviously what happens. If somebody just made up a new religion and he just took some stuff from other religions. How could you not see that that's what happened? Uh, like a monotheistic halal version of Hinduism. <laughs> okay, yeah. 